All right, here we are on Mordax Island. This is the last resort. We cannot turn around from here, so we better get moving along. And I've actually waited a few days to record this. I recorded the rest of the series in one whole day, but today I held off on this video because, frankly, Mordax Island kind of gives me the willies, so I kind of put off doing it on purpose because this is just atmosphere out the wazoo right here. You know, Cedric, I'm actually interested in what you have to say about this place for once. I know what you mean, because you used very simple words that I can understand. Well, let's go on up to the first trap that is in our way here. Hopefully Graham walks up there without any problems. Yep, he just walks straight to it along the winding path. And now we're faced by these statues right here. That, yeah, hmm. You don't say, Cedric. Well, we've got two statues right here that will fry us if we try to walk past them, so I know what to do. We have this crystal here. It's so obvious. We should just hold up the crystal to the statues so that it reflects back and fries them instead. Yep, oldest trick in the book. Easy schmeasy. Like, who couldn't figure that out? Come on. And now we made it to the front door, but there's just kind of a pit here. I'm oh, sorry, I wrecked the boat on the rocks. Come on, Cedric. Come on, you guys. A wide chasm separates the narrow trail from the castle's massive front gate. Well, so then we're probably going to just need to go around. We got these steps down here that are uh, leading around to the back. The front is nothing doing because we don't really have anything in our inventory that's going to help us across a chasm or anything like that. So we might as well just uh, move along this way. Yeah, just come on. Come on, Graham. Keep going. And we found another way in, it seems. Alright. No, 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 no. Not quite. No! I'll figure this out. I'm so freaking close. Shut up, Cedric. So now, here we are on this uh, side of the castle here. And here's another point where uh, you need to have picked up items from beforehand or else you're screwed at this point. In this case, you need to have picked up the iron bar on the beach. Not too hard to uh, figure out because it should have been pretty obvious lying there on the beach that you needed to pick it up. Excellent. So now we can get in there and Cedric will be uh, leaving us for the rest of this uh, little mission. That's what she said. Uh, staying out here and not getting killed, that's a better idea. No, that's a good idea, Cedric. Whatever, you just stay out here and quit your whining and your belly aching. I don't want to hear it. So now, here we are. We're in a labyrinth, or we will be in a second anyway. There we go. And I do believe we want to go left at first. You can actually orient yourself. We're facing north right now, and every time we go to a new part of the labyrinth, we'll be facing in another direction. So now I believe we're facing west. Yeah. So uh, we're going to have to orient ourselves very carefully, but I think as long as we keep going, as long as we keep going in directions that are not, you know, back where we were, we'll eventually run into something handy around here. And uh, we're going to want to go left, and this passageway keeps winding. Whew! That bug scared the crap out of me for a second. Eventually we're going to run into a monster who is our key to getting out of this very dank labyrinth. There he is. There's Dink. Dink is, uh, he's a big guy. Kind of dumb. But here he is. Here's me. Here's Dink. Sporting a funny looking top knot bound in a crude hairpin on top of his head. And that hairpin is our key to getting out of here because there's actually a door leading out of this labyrinth. And if we were to find the door first, we would find that it's locked. So the hairpin is actually the key on top of Dink's head and we are going to have to get it off him somehow. If we just try to go up and get it, we'll get crushed. But we have something in our inventory that Dink would probably like to play with, and that is the tambourine. So we're going to be parting ways with this gift, or with this, uh, going to be parting ways with this item, rather. Oh yes, Graham absolutely knows how to appeal to, uh, man-child beasts like that, so uh, we are going to pick that up now. Reaches down and grabs the hairpin off the labyrinth floor, because, you know, you should just always just 
reach up and take ladies' bobby pins like that. Dink's a guy. You know, maybe Dink has a wife. Not to be confused with the acronym for Double Income No Kids. Okay, and now we're going to keep going. Now, which way are we going to go here? Oh, cruddy dud. Which way are we facing? I'm trying to... Okay, I'm facing west. So we're facing left. And let the... Uh, okay, south. Okay, here we are. We're back at the uh, beginning now. Which way do we want to go? I think we want to go left from here then. Oh my god. Those things are just scary. Oh, no. Nope. That's a dead end. It is kind of really, really hard to find your way through this maze sometimes. The bugs look like robots or something. So I think we want to keep going to the other way here. There is also a giant hole somewhere in this labyrinth, which, God forbid, I hope I don't fall into. But, and I've dead-ended again. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, head this way then. What's going on over here oh here we go here we go this is a much better series okay i think are we facing north again no we're facing south this time so when we were headed this way yeah now we're now we're facing north east uh, west east south and okay no okay now we're facing north we probably want to keep going this way. Um, now which way are we facing? We're facing north. Okay, now we're facing north. Okay. So then I do believe we want to go this way. I want to orient myself back facing north at the entrance like we, like we were before. And now that has us totally screwed. See, it's really easy to get lost in here. I'm just going to go straight see if that uh see if that does anything for me okay okay i think we might be on to something then hopefully nope 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 dead end well this is kind of confusing i hope i'm making my way back to the uh entrance here what's over this way now i am just kind of clicking at random which is somewhat ill-advised, but I think it might actually be working for me. Okay, yeah, and then we go over here. And what's up this way? I think we want to go left from here, and that'll maybe take us out of here? Yeah, okay. Well, see, once I just started clicking at random, things just kind of happened to work out for me. Okay, well, that's great. So we are going to go ahead and uh, open the door with the hairpin key. That's this little... This little dustpan, I guess, looking thing right here. All right, it fits perfectly. Excellent. So now we're going to go out there. Oh, I guess we need to open the door with the hand because it's just such a heavy door. Ooh, that was creepy. That little echo right there. But before we go any further, there are a few things we need to pick up. Now, the way we do the game from here on out there's a very specific order to things, and it's kind of luck-based. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be handling things very carefully from here on out. I'm going to go ahead. Okay, a bag of dried peas, and you know you gotta pick them up because they have kind of a different look than the rest of the background stuff. All right, we've got dried peas. Those are gonna be coming in handy for us. Now we're going to go into the next room. When we go in the next room, we're going to meet a lady, and once again. We're going to need an item that if we didn't get it, we are completely screwed. And it's not really even intuitive that you would know how to use that item here. See, here is the lady scrubbing the floor. She is a slave. If you know what I mean. She has every reason to believe that. Please see. I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> well, but we're going to need her help eventually, so we need something to get on her side. And that is the locket that we found in the rock's nest back in the mountains. Somehow she got it lost up there. How you're supposed to know it belongs to her, who can even say, but 
that is what is up. So we are going to go ahead and help her out then. Not even an identifying name or mark on it or anything like that. Ooh, ooh, no. She is not a looker, Graham. Quit flirting with her. Her face is all like... You know when you like stretch out your face with both hands to make faces when you're a kid? Mm. Well, while Graham gets his flirt on here... She is Princess... I think it's Cosima in the voice version, but I like to say Casima because there's the two S's in the short vowel and whatnot. Yeah, you kind of should have talked to your dad about that, maybe. Oh, well. What Mordag sees, Mordag gets. <laughs> Graham, yes, that is so fascinating. Boobies! Ew, yeah. Well, be thankful he just kind of made you his slave and didn't do worse to you. Can we uh, take it off this cutscene now? Her uh, her face is annoying me. Okay, thank you. Yes, I'm much more comfortable with this level of detail. Casima's kind of a butter face. All right. Oh, great, wonderful. Well, we will be getting up to that soon. I think we're going to go ahead and cut it off here for today because there's only so much of Mordak Tassel I can take in one day. And, uh... I think I'm just lucky to have gotten through the, uh, I think I'm lucky to have gotten through the, uh, the labyrinth in one piece the way I did. Oh yeah, by the way, you didn't introduce me to yourself. Yeah, King, that's what they all say. That's what Mordak said, and look where I am now. Oh, ho, ho, that interjection made no sense. Yep, family first. That's how Graham is. And she will help us if she can. And she will be able to next time. Yes, that is going to be a big part of finishing the game for us. Is keeping out of sight. And sometimes, in certain situations, in sight. Nose tap. Mum's the word. Well, back to cleaning. And back to just standing around and getting an erection watching you do that. So we're going to stop here for today, and uh, next time we will explore the rest of Mordak's castle and finish up the game. I thought we would finish up the castle today, but there's quite a bit going on in here, and it's a lot to tackle all at once. So uh, you just get your shine on down there, girl. Oh, yeah. The fire's warm. The feeling's right. Oh, yeah.